All right, today we're talking about how you can get started with augmented reality in 2021. Now, augmented reality, it's not a new concept. There have been many uses over throughout the years. Businesses are starting to pick up on it a bit more, and it's starting to become a bit more mainstream. Places like Pokemon Go bring it into their game, Google bring it into the search results, Facebook, Instagram with face filters. It's all starting to come up, and there are so many different angles, so many different technologies out there to utilize to create your own augmented reality. There's things like Viewforia and Unity, there's Spark AR with Facebook. There are so many different opportunities, AR Kit, AR Core, and where do you begin? Now, it, it really does come down to where you're specifically looking, but today, we're gonna to be talking about Vuforia and Unity together to create your own app that you can utilize for augmented reality with image tracking. And before we get going, guys, 80% of you are not subscribed. Guys, please like, subscribe on the video if you find it easy to follow. If you find it useful, please write it in the comments, let us know. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let's talk about getting started with Unity. What we want to search for is, we want to go to Google, we want to search for Unity Hub. Unity Hub is the way, uh, is Unity's way of handling multiple versions of Unity being on your computer. Basically, you have a version that's relevant to the development of your code, and then as time goes on, Unity releases new versions that uh, you're supposed to stay up to date with because they help with bug fixes or potential security issues. So what we wanna do is search for Unity Hub, go to the Unity website and hit download Unity Hub. That'll start an install on your computer and we wanna run that, open it and get Unity all installed. Okay, so once you have Unity Hub download, install it, run it, get it onto your machine. What we wanna do here is you're gonna have a screen like this that comes up where it's Unity Hub, it's got no projects in there because you haven't used Unity Hub yet. Now let's go down to the installs. You might have a different screen to this because I already have one install, but we wanna add a new install into our Unity Hub. Now we wanna be building for 2021. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be looking at the Unity 2020 releases. Uh, this will change uh, as time goes on. So if this version is not available, you can specifically go through and look at the download archive for a very specific version and follow along with this. Ultimately, a lot of what I'm gonna be doing here today is gonna to translate across to new versions of Unity. So we're gonna download the Unity 2020 version and then it's gonna ask us to add modules in. And so the modules available to us is things like Android build support, iOS support, and, and there is a whole number of them available. Now for me, I only utilize the Android and iOS builds because that's what I build out to. If you have more specific use cases, like maybe WebGL, uh, then you could select these and keep going. I also just leave the documentation, documentation ticked uh, and we're gonna hit done. So what that's gonna do now is it's gonna take quite a bit of time. Uh, I'd say roughly maybe like 10 to 15 minutes to install. It has been very varied for me. Uh, so go ahead, begin this process because we're gonna let, need to let this sit whilst we go ahead and move across to Vuforia. All right, we've got Unity on the go, installing on our computer. Now, whilst we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and go to Vuforia. Now, rather than going directly to the Vuforia website, what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for Vuforia Developer. Because uh, there is a different portal for the Vuforia developers to just the standard Vuforia website. Okay, so this is Vuforia. The developer center uh, looks quite different to now what the Vuforia website looks like. Vuforia website got an update, so it looks a bit fancier than this. Uh, but this, for the most part, has never changed uh, as far as I'm aware. So what we want to do in the developer portal here is hit uh, register to register for an account. And so I'm gonna go through and put my details in. There's nothing special to this process. Uh, definitely look at the terms and agreements and all that sort of stuff to make sure that you have your head around it. Uh, but I'm gonna go through, put in my details to get an account ready to go. Okay, once you've registered, gone through all the process, you'll be able to see this screen where we've got uh, a license manager and a target manager. 
Now basically, we have licenses that allow us to use the Vuforia technology, and then we have our target manager, which is where we actually set up all the different images that we want to track, uh, or the different objects, or, or whatever you're utilizing it for. In our case, we'll be using it for an image. So to get started, we want to get a new key, and in this case, we're going to get a development key, because we don't particularly need a full-fledged uh, paid key. So we're going to go through, we're going to need to set up a license name. So in this case, I'm going to call it uh, YT example. And this has some limited usage in that like you have a thousand Ricos per month, but it's free of charge. So it works pretty well for what we're trying to do in this example. Obviously, if you're getting to more full fledged, you need to look into actually getting a paid license. But for starting out, this is a great point. So we have here, uh, I've clicked into the specific key uh, and in here we have this big long string. Now this is our license to utilize in the app. I am going to disable this license after this video, so no point even trying to enter this into your, <laughs> your own Unity client to use this as a license. We have in here uh, the license key, uh, the sort of permissions that we require when it was created, all that sort of stuff. And we also have the usage stats. So that is, you can see how much this key, uh, this license is being utilized. So we're gonna go through now, and that's the basics to Vuforia setup. What we're gonna do is wait for Unity to finish installing at this point, so that we can keep on moving forward. Okay, so my Unity finished installing after about 25 minutes, so a little bit longer than I sort of expect. Now I've got the 2020.1.12 here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project. So we wanna to go to projects. We wanna create a new project. And in my case, I have the two options. So I'm gonna choose the latest. In yours, you'll just have the one. Now this is gonna bring up a new screen, uh, which allows us to specify the different type of template we, we, we wanna utilize. Now this doesn't particularly matter too heavily, but we're gonna select 3D here. Uh, we're also going to give it a name, so I'm going to call it YT example, and uh, I'm just going to add it to my desktop as another folder on my on my desktop. So let me do that and hit create once this shows up. Okay, so we're going to hit create, and then everything's going to disappear, and it's going to take a little bit. So basically, what happens is Unity is now creating an entire project in that folder on your computer, and it does take a decent amount of time, uh, probably roughly on the first attempt, depending on how fast your computer is, it'd be less than five minutes. But for slower computers, it probably is roughly around five minutes, to be honest. Now, whilst we wait for that to occur, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Vuforia here, and we're gonna open up a new tab, this Downloads tab. And inside this Downloads uh, tab is, there's the option to download uh, the Unity uh, for Unity to add the Vuforia engine. So we're going to click on that and that's going to start downloading a package onto our computer. Uh, we have to hit agree in this circumstance here and then that will start downloading. So wait for that to download, wait for Unity to open and then we can finally continue working through our augmented reality project. Okay, so our Unity is now open. We're ready to go. We're ready to use it along with uh, Vuforia as well. So. What we need to do is, uh, with Vuforia, how we download the SDK, we want to open up that file. So we want to go to wherever that's stored on your computer and click on it and it'll open up into Unity itself. And it'll use this little package manager. So it's going to import the package, the Unity package in this case, into, into Unity, sorry. Import the Vuforia package into Unity. So let's hit import. It's going to import the assets that it requires to utilize Vuforia inside of Unity itself. And so as part of the process here, uh, it'll eventually get to this screen where it wants to add the Vuforia engine package. So we wanna hit update, so that this will then update any packages that you've previously had if you have had them in the past. And it'll bring this in so that we can utilize Vuforia cameras, image targets, all the pieces that we require in order to create augmented reality experiences. Okay, so before it's finished importing, we can now double check that it's definitely imported by right clicking on sample scene, going down to game object, and we should now have a Vuforia engine section. Whilst we're here, let's quickly select AR camera so that we can have our augmented reality camera in here. We're also uh, going to remove the main camera. 
because we don't don't need to utilize that. On the AR camera, we're also going to select an image target, which we're going to bring in pretty soon. So what we need to do is set up a few different settings in Unity itself. So on the AR camera, let's select it and we want to go to our inspector. And inside here, down the very bottom, is the option to open Vuforia engine configuration. So let's open that up. And in here, we need to provide the app license key. So that's the key that the, the big long string that we had previously. So let's go across to Chrome and we want to go back to uh, the screen where we had the license on it. And so on this screen here, we can click on this license key. So it copies it to our keyboard. We can go back to, view, uh, to Unity and paste that one in. And now we have the primary piece that, that we ultimately require to run a augmented reality project. So the other things we want to do is to look at things like our image target and what we want to actually play on the image target itself. So in my case, I'm going to actually utilize a picture of myself that I've taken from my webcam and I'm going to use that as the image target. So to start with, we're going to be creating an image target that's local on this project. So we're going to go to our project here and we're just going to create a new folder called images. And inside the images folder, I'm going to bring in my, my, uh, my image targets. So I have uh, an image close and an image full. So I'm just going to bring these two in. I'm then also going to create another folder in assets which is called video because in this case we're going to be creating a output that is a video playing on top of the image target so I'm just going to bring that in whilst we're importing these assets in. To import any asset into Unity you just drag and drop it into the, the big area down below. So for in our images section here which uh, I'll quickly hide myself for a moment we can see here I've got two images, I've got an image close and an image full. And we're just going to try both of these out to see which one works better from a tracking perspective. So all we're going to do is under the image target, we have the option over to the right here to utilize an image. So we can drag and drop this image into the image target area here. So we can drag and drop it into this little box onto the right and that will utilize this as the image target. So with this uh, set up, we can double click on the image target in the top left section to zoom in on it. And we can then place whatever content we want on top of this area. And this area is where this image target is specified. So we could put something like a cube on top, or in our case, we're gonna be putting a video down, but what we would effectively be doing is then putting any content that we want to place on this image target needs to be a child of this image target. So if you wanted a cube and then say a sphere that went off to the right, you'd need to be placing them all underneath this image target. So I'm going to quickly set this up so that we can actually check it out in the editor here. Okay, so I've got a real basic setup for this. All I've done is I've taken the image target and I've set the image to be the image close rather than the image far. And I've added a quad. So a quad is under the 3D objects, we've got quad. And on this quad, we have added a video player. So by to do that, we hit add component, you would search for video player. And then you drag the video from the browser area you drag that across into this right section, which is the video clip. And then I've left all other settings as they were. That's all we needed to do. That's, that's literally it. So let me show you this in the editor now. Okay, so let me go ahead and in the editor here, hit play. I'm gonna have our image target ready to go. And you instantly see the video start playing. Now I've got it muted so that you're not hearing double of my voice. But you can see it playing in the editor screen here and I'm going to export it and I'm going to also show you with a, an actual app on the phone how I'm going to do this. So let me go ahead and get this exported so that you can see it in real time as well. Alright, so we've exported the app. We're going to scan the target now. So we're looking around in our local sort of area and I've got the image here. 
This is our AR example video. There's so much that you could do out there in the world with AR, it's yet to all be unlocked. There are some awesome channels coming out there, but go check it out for yourself, see what you can do with it. It's so much fun. And yeah, that's, that's about it. And that's it guys. We've gone through, we've taken our own Vuforia Unity project and created our own augmented reality app. Guys, there are so many different avenues that you can take with augmented reality. I definitely recommend checking out all the different solutions out there. If you have any ideas for videos, please put them down into the comments. If you have any feedback, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Until next time, see ya.